In the prior vid, we had a look at the friendly dialogue between Justin Martyr and a Jewish opponent named Trifo. Now we'll have a look at a church author who is as hostile to Jews as Justin is friendly. But we'll see that at the core, the condemnations he issues are no more substantive. On the Passover is a short homily written by Melito of Sardis in the mid-2nd century AD. Judean responsibility for the death of Jesus is extensively discussed in section 2, where Israel is named as the guilty party. Melito asserts that the reason Jesus was killed was because his miracles were applied to with ingratitude. He also regards Jesus as one of innocent blood who had been executed. We don't know why Melito was so hostile. Still, in his work, we clearly have a precursor of later hate-infused anti-Semitism. We also see the beginnings of what will become a persistent paradox that will come to be repeated in much later church authors. On the one hand, they say that the Judeans did not know or did not recognize Jesus for who he was. On the other hand, Melito refers to the death of Jesus as an unjust murder and says that as a result, Israel was dashed to the ground and lies quite dead. There's an obvious tension here. Was Judean involvement in the death of Jesus intentional or not? If not, there is a dimension to this question that can't be neglected. If Judeans of Jesus' era honestly thought Jesus was a false prophet, their culpability in his death was of a highly limited nature. And any supposition that persecution of Judeans can be justified on this basis is obviously the product of irrationality. Later writers also wrestled with this paradox, even as they never solved it until a much later date when judiciousness was tossed aside in favor of thinking that the Jews must have known Jesus was the Christ when they took part in his execution. But we'll talk about that later. Next time we'll make another stop in the second century.